Thayer presents the Monos Incisionless Carpal Tunnel Release. The patient's arm is placed in extension and secured to the Monos handboard. The entry and exit points are marked for the access cannula assembly and carpal tunnel release blade with a sterile marker. Both points should be in line with the middle of the ring finger. The entry point for the access cannula assembly should be just proximal to the flexion crease of the wrist and ulnar to the palmaris longus. The exit point for the carpal tunnel release blade in the palm should be just distal to the transverse carpal ligament. Next, the access cannula assembly is advanced into the entry point and the stylet is removed. The Monos Carpal Tunnel Release Blade Assembly should then be inserted into the access cannula and directed towards the palmar exit point. It should be directed underneath the transverse carpal ligament while applying continuous upward pressure against the ligament. The Monos system is compatible with commercially available nerve stimulators. If a nerve stimulator is connected to the Monos device, the distal tip of the device will provide nerve stimulation guidance. Once the carpal tunnel release blade assembly tip is properly positioned at the palmar exit point, the carpal tunnel release blade is advanced by advancing the proximal thumb lever. Advancing the thumb lever exposes the carpal tunnel release blade cutting surface. If a nerve stimulator is attached, nerve stimulation will be continuously conducted through the cutting surface. The distal handle is then attached by pressing the thumb button and guiding the carpal tunnel release blade tip into the handle. Next, the access cannula is withdrawn and the blade lock is secured to the Monos Carpal Tunnel Release Blade Assembly. This prevents the carpal tunnel release blade assembly from exiting the palm. The proximal handle is lowered towards the handboard to create a convex bowing of the carpal tunnel release blade relative to the transverse carpal ligament. When in position, a controlled back and forth movement of the carpal tunnel release blade is used to cut through the ligament. The surgeon may place thumb or fingers above the ligament for tactile feedback and to ensure complete release. Once the ligament is released, the thumb button on the distal handle is pressed to release the carpal tunnel release blade. The thumb lever on the proximal handle is then retracted to its original position, safely returning the cutting surface inside the carpal tunnel release blade assembly. The carpal tunnel release blade assembly can then be removed from the hand through the access cannula, and the access cannula can be removed as well. The Monos Incisionless Carpal Tunnel Release is a percutaneous incisionless alternative to traditional carpal tunnel surgery. 